Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are fat and protein calories superior to carbohydrate calories? In this video, I'll share what is a calorie, sources of food calories, how your body uses carbohydrates, protein, and fat, are fat calories superior to carb calories, and why you should listen to your body and not celebrity fad diet hype. To begin, a calorie is a unit of energy defined as the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius. A calorie is a very small unit of energy that is used primarily for food energy. In fact, what Americans believe is one food calorie is actually 1,000 calories or one kilocalorie. The 2,000 calories on nutrition labels is actually 2 million calories. There are four sources of food calories, carbohydrates, protein, fat, and alcohol. One gram of fat or alcohol has almost twice the calories as carbohydrates and protein. Of the four sources of food energy, only three are essential. Some low-carb diets include carbohydrates as non-essential. Most carbohydrates come from plant foods. Meat, fish, and poultry provide fat and protein calories. Organ meats, like liver, provides fat, protein, and a small amount of carb calories. Most plant foods provide carb, fat, and protein calories. Your body uses carb, fat, and protein calories for different functions. The function of carbohydrates is fuel. Carb calories come from fruits, vegetables, legumes, potatoes, nuts and seeds, and grains. There are three types of carbohydrates, sugar, starch, and fiber. Some carbs, like fruit, are high in sugars. Others, like grains, are high in starch. Carbs have many types of sugar, but your body uses only one type for fuel, glucose. Glucose is not a sweet sugar and is available in stores as corn or glucose syrup. Glucose enters your bloodstream, raising blood sugar levels, this triggers your pancreas to release insulin so your cells can use the glucose for fuel. For adults without diabetes, normal fasting blood glucose is between 70 to 99 milligrams per deciliter. Non-fasting blood glucose levels above 200 milligrams per deciliter indicates type 2 diabetes. Sweet plant foods provide a variety of sugars besides glucose, like fructose and sucrose. Sucrose is refined white sugar. It is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Your liver must convert non-glucose sugars and starch into glucose before they can be used for fuel. Unlike sugar, starch is a long strand of glucose molecules. Until the 20th century, sugar and starch came from minimally processed foods. The 20th century brought affordable refined sugars and hundreds of high-calorie refined carbohydrate ultra-processed foods. Diets high in ultra-processed foods and a more sedentary lifestyle is one cause of weight gain. Contrary to the claims of some low-carb diets, the main source of excess sugar and starch is not fruit, vegetables, and grains. It is a diet of high-calorie prepared foods. Social media is saturated with misinformation about carbohydrates, like diabetics cannot eat sweet fruit, and diets high in sweet fruit increases your risk for diabetes. Multiple research studies show people eating diets high in fruit 
have a lower risk of developing diabetes. People with diabetes must limit foods high in refined sugar and starch, not fruit. Excess glucose is either stored as glycogen or converted to body fat. The source of excess glucose is prepared foods and beverages. Millions of Italians eat high-carb pasta daily without gaining weight. Five ounces of cooked pasta has 42 grams of carbohydrates. For some low-carb diets, 42 grams is high, but for a balanced 2,000-calorie diet that is 50% carbs, 42 grams is 17% of total carb calories. The entire 42 grams is not converted to glucose for fuel. About 10% is used for digestion. This is called the thermic effect or specific dynamic action of foods. The thermic effect varies by person. For carbohydrates, it ranges from 5 to 15% of carb calories. For every 100 grams of carbs in your diet, between 5 to 15%, 20 to 60 calories, is used for digestion. This leaves 340 to 380 calories. The thermic effect is the reason some foods, like celery, are called zero-calorie foods. Subtracting the thermic effect from 100 grams of celery leaves 11 to 13 calories for fuel. While celery is not a zero-calorie food, it is a very low-calorie food. On the other hand, high-protein foods can be high-calorie foods. Your body does not use food protein directly. It uses the amino acids in dietary protein to create thousands of proteins. It is estimated your body has more than 10,000 unique proteins. Examples include muscle, hair, nails, skin, organs, and blood. All proteins are made from 20 amino acids. Nine are essential. Essential means your body cannot make them. They must come from your diet. Proteins are needed for fluid and pH balance, wound healing, tissue regeneration, transporting oxygen, and energy production. The thermic effect of protein is much higher than carbohydrates since protein is used to make other proteins, not for fuel. When excess protein calories is converted to body fat, it's available for fuel. A common myth is eating more protein increases muscle mass. The fact is, strength training, not excess protein, increases muscle mass. We now come to dietary fat. Fat is essential, and no one can live on a zero-fat diet. Fat is necessary for the absorption of vitamins A, D, E, and K. It may increase satiety, the feeling of being full, and reduce the glycemic impact of a meal or snack. There are three types of dietary fat, saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated. All dietary fats have varying percentages of those three types. Butter with 51% saturated fat is classified as a saturated fat. Avocado oil is monounsaturated since 70% is monounsaturated fat. Excess calories from carbs, fat, and protein are stored in your body as body fat called triglycerides. Triglycerides also circulate in your blood. Normal blood triglyceride levels are less than 150 milligrams per deciliter. Body fat is essential for storing excess energy, insulation to maintain body temperature, and insulates and protects vital organs from damage. Current research indicates fat has the same thermic effect as carbs, 
5 to 15 percent of total fat calories. Unlike carbs and protein, fat has more than twice the energy. After subtracting the thermic effect, 100 grams of fat leaves 765 to 855 calories. As I've shared, fat is an essential nutrient, but are high-fat diets healthy diets? Several viewers have commented that fat calories are superior to carb calories. They promote low-carb diets like keto and carnivore. You can function on a high-fat diet and possibly lose weight if that is your goal. But high-fat diets are low-fiber diets. Fiber has many health benefits besides preventing constipation. High-fat diets are poor sources of some essential vitamins and minerals like A, B9, E, K, magnesium, potassium, and manganese. Whether a healthy diet is 20%, 30%, or more in fat calories is a decision only you can make. In the U.S., weight loss diets are a multi-billion dollar a year industry. Over 60 years of fad weight loss diets have only increased the American waistline. According to the CDC, the number of overweight Americans averaged 39% from 1960 to 2010. The number of obese Americans has increased from 11% in 1962 to 35% in 2010. I have been accused of promoting unhealthy foods and being biased against keto and other high-fat diets because they did not work for me. For over 60 years, I've eaten a modified Southern Italian Mediterranean diet and have never been overweight, diabetic, or have any other chronic diet-related diseases. There is no magic formula for how much fat, protein, and carbs you should eat. Most overweight people ignore their body's needs until it is too late. And as overweight people are finding out, it is easier gaining weight than losing weight. You can eat over a thousand calories in less than five minutes. It takes about two hours of jogging to burn a thousand calories. There are common sense dietary guidelines. A 100 calorie apple is healthier than a 400 calorie apple pie. I have never counted calories, but I am aware of the number of calories in foods. It's not rocket science knowing what are high and low calorie foods. The goal of any healthy diet is maintaining a healthy weight, normal blood chemistry, and no vitamin or mineral deficiencies. How you achieve and maintain those goals are decisions and choices only you can make. If you are overweight, diabetic, or have other chronic diseases, Your body is sending you a message. Listen to your body and adjust your diet according to your needs, not your wants. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.